I was able to take a brand new offer from zero to 1.05 million in about 16 months. And I wanna share with you exactly what I did so you can do it too. My name is Dr. Matt, and when I started my first online business, I had no idea what to do to get consistent clients. I was trying to post on multiple platforms every single day. I tried growing a Facebook group. I went to two or three networking events a week, and I even tried to write a blog once a week to get more traffic. And ultimately, none of those strategies worked for me. Instead, I just wasted a ton of time and resources on things that didn't work. And I know there's a lot of coaches, consultants, course creators, and service providers who are in the same boat. So in this video, I wanna share with you the only five things that you really need to know to make seven figures online. And make sure to stick around to the end because the last tip is something that we just started testing and we're seeing some incredible results with it. Last week, using this tip, we booked 15 sales calls alone. So again, stick around, it's gonna be a good one. Okay, so the first thing that I did to set myself up for success was I had to identify a scalable business model. Okay, so we'll go ahead and write this down on my iPad. Number one is model. The model that works the best right now in the online space is having a high ticket offer. Okay, having a high ticket offer that is between one to $10,000, okay, for, coaching, consulting, service providing, that works what I find best, okay? Uh, one to 10K for anywhere from three to 12 months, okay? And the reason this works well is as you guys grow, you're gonna wanna get into paid advertising and it's gonna cost you money to acquire a client. If you're charging 100 bucks, 200 bucks a month, you're gonna probably be in the red for a couple months. And that's really hard when you're being scrappy to start a business. So what I find that works really well is having this front end offer. So this is that one to 10 K for three to 12 months as the front end, right? Front end just means the first thing that you're selling. And then on the back end, it can be a couple hundred bucks a month. So this could be anywhere from 350, anywhere to a thousand dollars a month after the initial three to 12 months. This works extremely well for online fitness coaches, nutrition coaches. That's a lot of the clients that we work with. We'll have them set up their first three to 12 month package offer over here for like 2K for three to four months. And then the back end offer can be that re recurring revenue. And typically if it's a fitness coaching offer, it's gonna be between 350 and $500 a month, right? If you're doing business coaching, consulting, stuff like that, you're probably gonna be closer to the thousand dollars a month. Even if you're doing one-on-one -on -one life coaching, personal development, you're gonna be in that range because you're doing a lot more calls, a lot more support where with fitness coaching, if you have a good model and what we find that works really well is creating a protocol or program, writing that program and having one to two check-in calls a month and adjusting the program as needed. But most of the communication can be done via messages or via email. So that doesn't require you to trade your dollars for hours, right? So that's the pricing section of the model. Having something that's a package on the front end between one to $10,000 for three to 12 months on the front end, on the back end having monthly recurring revenue. Because long-term you really want this monthly recurring revenue to uh, pay for all the expenses in the business. So when you get new sales and new signups for the paid in full up here, all of that's just gravy on top. And that feels good, okay? That feels really good, okay? Another thing that I wanna mention when it comes to model is no more, <laughs> this might make some people upset, no more launches. We don't wanna rely on launches, okay? When I say no more launches, what, what I'm really trying to say here is we want a evergreen, okay? Evergreen model. I don't know if it's one word or two words, but we want an evergreen model. And what evergreen model means is that we're always enrolling. We're always able to make sales. If you have, rely on the launch model and you're only taking on uh, clients like two, three, four, maybe even five times a year, you're not gonna be able to create a predictable sales engine or sales system. And that's because you're only selling three to four times a, a year. So how can you build predictability and consistency when you're not enrolling and, and, and taking sales, okay? It's, it's a lot harder to scale this model because you're also gonna be relying on people to be ready to purchase when you're ready to sell. And that's not how psychology works with buying. We look for help when we have an active problem. 
And if you don't have an evergreen model that can help somebody when they're in pain and they need help, then you're in trouble. Okay. So I'm not saying you can't have launches. Like we still, we still do quote unquote launches. Like we'll do promotions. And I'll talk about that later in this video, but we have an evergreen product to where tomorrow if someone signs up, it's gonna be the same process that someone would buy in six months from now. Same process, right? And same program. You know, the coaching and, and the support will be individualized, but they don't have to wait to get started, okay? So that's number one, okay, is you've gotta have a model. I like the front end, paid in full, back end, recurring revenue, and uh, not relying on launches. This is very, very helpful, okay? The second thing that I did to set myself up for success and have this million dollar business was I posted daily, right? Daily short form content, okay? And for, for me, this was on Instagram. And I really like Instagram. And I think it's the best place to get started if you're not already making 20, 30, or $40,000 a month. And the reason for that is that it's got the messenger feature, right? Messenger. So messenger feature is extremely helpful because anytime you get a new follower, right? If I get a new follower, if I get even like a comment, if I get um, just more engagement, story likes, switch put likes, you know, all of these allow me to then start a conversation, right? So all of this allows me to generate leads, okay? These can become leads. Hey, I saw you just follow my account. How did you come across my page? Nice, are you looking for blank? Nice, what's your blank? Like you can just start asking questions and turn a new follower into a lead to where you can go out to them instead of having to rely and wait for a new follower, you know, to consume uh, three months of your content and then finally book on your calendar, you can be proactive and start that relationship and connecting with them from day one, okay? So that's, what, that's why I like it. Let me give you my posting strategy that I use right now because I think it'll help you uh, just, just get started. All right, so here it is, right? Every week, I'm just gonna go every week, you're gonna do this two videos. You're going to do two carousels. I can't even spell carousels, guys. So eh, it might be close. Uh, two carousels and then two photos. Okay. And with the photos, uh, they could be photos or even like uh, tweets, right? So there's like, I don't know if you guys, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I create a lot of tweets. I create a lot of tweets and my tweets are either single tweets or they're carousel tweets. It's just a very simple way for me to write in the morning and post it without having to make it look really pretty. That's just not my style. I'm very simple, I'm straightforward, and that works well for me. But these, um, this like 222 model works extremely well for me. What these two do, like especially the, the, the photos, is they help build a more like relationship. So oftentimes, especially the photos, like I, I really try to do more photos than still tweets for these ones because the photos can be a photo of me and my girlfriend, and I'll talk really vulnerably about like, something that relates to my ideal client. I could be like, you know, I made one the other week. It was like, I used to be so nervous to create content and I had this long story. And inside the story, it was like, you know, here's all the emotions that I felt. And then I started doing these four things, gave some value. And then at the end, if you like this, share this with somebody. If you like this, you know, throw it on your story. Hey, if you like this, or if you need help with this, DM me, right? I forgot what the exact call to action was, but. That's how I did that. And I really like that strategy. Now, the carousels work really well too because they're actually more like mid-form content, okay? And I love mid-form content. It's actually my favorite content to make. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love these YouTube videos, they're really fun, but these mid-form content pieces, they've helped me grow my brand the most. I run ads using mid-form content. I grow my account even just by boosting simple, simple mid-form content posts because there's more depth there. There's more value there, right? Where the, the videos uh, and even the single posts, well, single posts can be, can be mid-form too if it's like a mini blog style. But the videos are typically kind of like, you know, bite-sized chunks. Here's like, you know, one thing you can do. Here's a quick thing you can do. Boom, 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 boom. I'll get more followers from those. I might get engagement and likes and stuff like that more reach, but the mid form content where I'm really given a lot of like the juicy stuff, like here's the five or seven tools you need. 
I get a ton of saves from this mid-form carousel content. And I get a lot of shares of this content. Almost all, every time I get more saves from this mid-form content than I do likes so that the saves and shares are higher. And to me, I care about that more than I care about likes because that's telling me that I just created enough valuable information that someone wants to reference that later, okay? And then the videos um, can be, I actually like doing the videos like kind of a, a shorter version of these two. So um, I like, I write my content first. So even in this video, I've already outlined what the five things are. You know, I write everything first and then I will go into the video mode. So typically in a week, if these are four pieces of content, I'll take two of the ideas and turn them into videos, which are more like real style. So there it is. Take this strategy. It's very simple. I do have some other Instagram or uh, content strategy videos. I'll probably link some right here if you wanna go watch those. But this is the, the general post outline that I use right now on a weekly basis. Okay, so number three, once you're posting consistently and you're doing that, you know, this step alone, like of creating valuable content and reaching out to new people who are following you and engaging with you, this alone should get you to your first, you know, like 10K, 10K, right? To get you to at least 10K. Also, you're probably gonna reach out to some of your immediate network, friends, family members, et cetera, and you should be able to get your first 10K from here, okay? The next step is gonna help you go from 10K to really like 50K, okay? 10K to 50K. It sounds big, but I promise it's actually not that big. <laughs> I, I used to think $10,000 was a lot of money. And once I made it and I started to make hires and like have video editors and have all these things, I was like, wow, I need to really make more money, okay? So um, trust me, if you're not there yet, you're like, wow, that's my goal. Once you get there, you're gonna realize, oh, you really do need to be doing 30 to $50,000 a month to have like a real business that allows you to pay yourself $10,000 a month, okay? Big difference from your business making $10,000 a month and you making $10,000 a month. Huge difference, okay? All right, so the strategy to get you from 10K to 50K is going to be running ads, okay? Running ads. And when, when, you, when I start running ads, this is typically what I'll do first. The first thing I will, I will do is I will run ads to grow an Instagram account. Okay, and um, you can do this by simply just like boosting posts, okay? And the reason that I do this first is because you're already doing all this stuff up here, right? You're already creating daily short form content and you really wanna maximize that. And if you're not maximizing that, um, you're just spending all the time creating content that no one's seeing. That's, that's not fun. So typically what I'll do first is I'll run ads to grow the Instagram account. I want real followers. And it's really simple to do that is just by boosting posts and optimizing it for automatic placements or um, an audience that essentially is similar to your existing followers, okay? That's step one and it's really easy. And when you do this, we should be getting new followers for anywhere from like, you know, I'm just gonna say 50 cent to $2 just depending on, on your niche. But if you're doing fitness coaching, nutrition coaching, like I've got some clients who have like 25 cent a follow, right? So they're spending $10 a day, they could get 20 to 40 new followers a day that they can then send messages to and build a relationship with, can create content that's gonna help them and eventually get them over the line to say, man, I really need your help, okay? So that's the first thing that we'll do. And then what once once the account is like is up and active, you've got like, you know, a couple thousand followers. The one strategy that works the best, like I, I say this boosting post here, this will help you get to like the, the 20K a month range. But eventually you're gonna wanna have something that's a little bit less DM heavy, right? Where when someone follows you, you're DMing, you're 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 actively engaging. What you're gonna wanna create once you have that, have the cash flow to be able to invest in this is you're gonna to wanna to create a free training funnel, okay? And typically what this is, it's also known as a VSL or a video sales letter, okay? What this is, it's a 10, anywhere from 10 to 30 minute video that teaches your prospect what your unique process is. So mine is how to get 10 clients a month. Right, that's kind of the title of it. Uh, it might be different if you look at it now. We've been split testing some different ones, but one of the variations of the name of it is how to get 10 clients a month for online coaches, right? And in that video, it's gonna cover the exact process that we use with all of our clients. 
and someone can watch that video and they can take action on it without working with us. Or they could be like, man, this is awesome and I really want help to go faster with this. And what we're looking for here is 10% of the people who watch to apply, okay? And this can become a really, really predictable uh, sales engine, right? Because if I get, you know, 100 people to watch, and that, that could lead to 10 applications. And then 10 applications, let's just say, leads to five sales calls, and that could lead to two to three sales, okay? That play works really well, like once it's optimized. And when you're running that play, you know, that to get to this 10%, what you can do and what, what we do is we'll have, you know, someone, someone drives. So it'll be like the funnel would be like add to uh, opt in page, right? And then on the opt in page, it asks for phone number, email. Uh, and then on the next page would be the video page. And then the next page would be schedule. Okay. It's a really, really simple funnel. But what, what makes this thing effective is that when someone opts in, they're then going to get, SMS, right? They're then going to get email. And for some of the ones that we have, like if, if our lead volume is low, we'll just go look that person up on Instagram, right? IG, and then we'll shoot them a DM. Or we can do it on Facebook too, right? We, you can be as scrappy as you want, right? But all of this is pushing to here, right? To schedule, schedule, schedule. And if you really optimize it, you can have above 10% that will book a call, right? But 10% is what I see is kind of like the, the gold standard with a more value-based driven free training. If it's just a direct sales letter of like, hey, if you're looking for this, we'll help you do this. Go watch this video to learn how we can help you. That's going to be a little bit different. That's going to be closer to like, you know, I, I shoot closer to 20% for those. But what, what what's going to happen with those is the lead cost. So the cost for someone to watch that is going to be way higher, right? Way higher. So, so far what we've done is number one, we have a scalable business model. Number two is we are posting consistent short form content. Number three is we're running ads. The first strategy is gonna be boosting just to get more uh, followers for that second step to be really effective. And then once we're doing like 20, 30 K a month, we're then gonna make a free training funnel. Okay. It's going to be more automated. It's going to really be an awesome sales engine. That's going to help people know, like, and trust you before they get on a sales call with you. Okay. Now step four, step four, the fourth thing that we're going to do is once we're doing, okay, I'm going to preface this. Don't get ahead of this. Okay. If you're not already doing 20, 30, like really 40 K a month, you don't need to do this. Okay. You, you can really just focus on those, those steps one through three and be good. Okay, but if you're going to try to go from, let's just say 50K to 100K a month, this is how you're going to do it. Okay, it's by posting one to two long form videos a week. Okay, and what, what, is, what is long form? That's a, a video like this. It's a YouTube video, right? It's a YouTube video or I've even seen this be successful is making a loom video, right? You just make a loom video and you can send it out to your email list or you can make a loom video and go on social media and be like, hey, comment below for a video that walks through exactly how I do X, Y, and Z. And the long form is really important because it helps really build a relationship, okay? And this is really important because building a relationship is gonna build trust. And you need trust to make a sale, okay? If there's no trust there, no one's gonna give you money, okay? They might give you like, you know, under a hundred bucks, like, yeah, I'll buy your $20 ebook, whatever. But if you're trying to sell, like what we talked about up here, when we're trying to sell a, you know, one to 10K offer at scale, when, you know, when we're here at two at 50 to 100K, you might not be the person on the phones anymore, right? And they can't build that trust as well. So how they're going to build trust with you at this stage is by consuming long form content. Okay. Another example of long form content, I didn't mention it, is creating a podcast, right? Because people can spend more time with you. So YouTube, podcasts, even like a, a long form blog or newsletter can work well, but I personally like video or audio better because 
you're going to have a deeper relationship with somebody from those pieces of content instead of like the, the newsletter. Uh, not as much people are reading as much anymore. And also if somebody is working with you, like going to be doing coaching, consulting, they're going to talk to you, right? They're going to talk to you in some way, shape or form. And that's going to be a form of communication. It could be Zoom calls, could be phone calls, but that's typically part of coaching consulting. And I want to get to know your voice. I want to get to know who you are as a person. And YouTube slash podcast can be extremely helpful for that. But most people start with this. Like, not me to start with this, but I see a lot of content creators, course creators, uh, coaches who will start with this first. They'll start a YouTube channel instead of starting with Instagram. And YouTube's a very long-term play. And it's a lot easier to build a YouTube from pushing from short form to long form instead of going the other way around. So I highly recommend waiting on this. Also, podcasts and YouTube, while it's even a longer term sales cycle, it can also be more expensive. We pay a couple thousand dollars a month to get our videos like this edited, to get them uh, like uploaded, to get all the stuff. And then it requires a lot more expenses. If you're doing Loom, yeah, that's, that's gonna be essentially free, but it does take more time and it can often take more money too. So just be patient with that, okay? So that's the fourth step and that'll help you get to the 100K a month. And now I wanna share with you step five. Okay, step five, like I said at the beginning, is something new. I'll say newer that we've been doing and seeing a lot of results from this. And it's by simply doing a promotion every three to six months. Okay, so I'll just put promotion every three to six months. And what I mean by promotion, I'll, I'll just I'll tell you ours. Okay, ours right now is we're doing a webinar a webinar um, pretty much every six weeks. Let's put six to eight, because sometimes if we have a lot of projects, we won't necessarily do it like on, on time. But our goal is to do a webinar every six to eight weeks. The secret here, we typically do the same presentation or we have like two to three that we'll rotate between. I'm not making a new webinar every single six to eight weeks. And you might be like, well, Matt, what if somebody's already been to the last webinar? I thought the same thing, and the last webinar we did was the exact one that I did about six months ago. And we had, uh, for the first webinar, there was about 250 people who registered. For the second webinar, about another 250. And in total, there was only four or five people <laughs> who registered from the first webinar who attended the second webinar, okay? That was it. So you're gonna get new leads and people will forget. And as you're building an audience, they won't know that you did that one before, okay? So don't worry about that. I promise it's it's not a big deal and you should just repeat it because think of it like a like a like a musician or an artist, right? If they have a hit album, right? They go on tour with that album and they play that album over and over and over and over again. They don't do every new tour, they have a new new songs. That would be exhausting, right? But they know the hits. So if you can create a webinar like like what we do and it's a hit and you know that, man, we get an uh, influx of applications and sales after this webinar. Repeat that webinar. You don't need a new webinar, okay? I promise, all right? So again, every three to six months, you're gonna do some sort of promotion. We're trying to increase that frequency, but I'd say every three to six months at a minimum, do this. So for us right now, again, we're doing a webinar every six to eight weeks, and then Another every six to eight weeks, we're gonna do some sort of sale. Okay, sale, I'm just gonna put sale promotion and that's gonna be six to eight weeks after that. So that's like, so the sale promotion is quarterly. So this one is every three months. So I'm just gonna put every, put every 12 weeks. Okay, so every 12 weeks, we're gonna do a sale promotion. And what this looks like right now, honestly, what's worked really well for us is doing a seven day free trial, okay? And the seven day free trial, uh, we require a $500 deposit, refundable deposit. And that shows they've got some skin in the game and also um, they're gonna wanna invest. I don't wanna get someone in who's just gonna take it totally for free. So we'll do a seven day free trial with a $500 deposit and then we'll refund the deposit at the end of the seven days if it's not a good fit. That's one that we'll do. And then the other one that we'll do is like, you know, a certain amount of dollars off for like, you know, just seven days, right? So it's like, yeah, it's just a short promotion. Hey, we're giving you some bonuses. Yeah, plus bonuses. We're giving you all these bonuses and we're taking off X number of dollars 
for this week only, right? And typically, like, stuff that this works well for is, like, you know, Black Friday, and then maybe something in June, July, or something like that. So you, it's, it's nice if you can find a holiday that makes sense around it, but it doesn't have to be. It could even be, like, you know, Black Friday, and the other one's my birthday. Woo! <laughs> and you just want to do a promotion. It, it doesn't matter, but just, just have some sort of event that, that does that. Yeah, so that, that works really well. So, like, at, at a minimum, at a minimum, I'd say every three to six months, but you can already see how, how we're doing this is we're doing a sale promotion every three to six months, and then we'll do a webinar kind of in between that. And that will get an influx of, of leads that come in for the webinar. And that's really awesome because it helps us, again, build a relationship. Okay, because ah, I ran out of space. Uh, th these people can come and talk to us live. They can talk to me live. They've been watching my YouTube videos. They've been they maybe messaging me on Instagram, but they don't really know like, if I ask Matt a question, how does he respond, right? Is he, is he a human? Is he a robot? I don't know. But in a webinar setting, people can, can feel that. They can feel your energy. They can like get to know you. And it's just a great way to, to build a relationship with somebody. And the sales promotion is just a way because, you know, there's some people who just buy either out of fear of missing out on a deal. <laughs> and there's some people, like if it's a trial, who just like are, are a little bit more hesitant of getting started. So if you can give them like a no brainer way to get started and it's like risk reversal of like, just, just start with us. If you like it, great. If not, we'll send your money back has been extremely helpful for us. And like I said, at the start of this video, like we just finished our seven day trial and the hook of the video said 15 calls booked last week, but it was actually a lot more than that. Like after Saturday, Sunday, we've had a really successful uh, launch of the seven day trial. And we also had, we had sale, we probably tripled the amount of closes. Yeah, we did. We tripled the amount of closes that we had in a week. We closed, uh, I believe 13 to 15 people when we typically will do about five units or five sales um, a week. We had about 13 to, to 15 sales. So really huge for us. That's what I got. All right. So we're going to recap this whole thing and then we'll close this video out. But the, if you're trying to scale to seven figures is what we did. The first thing you got to do is look at your business model. Is this set up for success? We really like the high ticket upfront, recurring revenue on the back end, and having an evergreen model. Okay, that's that's step number one. Step two: posting daily on Instagram, short form content. Anyone that's engaging with you, shoot them a DM, start a conversation, see how you can be of service. Okay, I gave you guys in this video a little quick um, posting strategy. You can go back for that. And then to go from 10K to 50K, we're gonna start running ads, okay? Ad strategy number one, boosting posts. Ad strategy number two, running to a free training, okay? Then once we're doing close to that 30, 40, 50K a month range, we can start to introduce long form content, okay? I'd like to do one to two of those a week. It could be a YouTube video or it could be a podcast. Those are the two preferred ones. And then to close it all out, do a promotion, some sort of promotion. It could be a, a webinar, it could be a direct sale campaign, but do something at minimum of every three to six months, okay? We like to do every three to six, every three months, we'll do a, a sale, and in between that, we'll do a webinar, okay? So that's what we got for today. If you liked today's video, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. We create daily content just like this to help coaches grow and scale their online coaching businesses. And if you want any support, you're like, Matt, this is super helpful. You're pretty cool. I'd like to learn more about what it's like to work with you guys. We'll have a link below to schedule a call with our team. It'll be a free strategy session. We'll go through your entire business, see if we can find any bottlenecks, and then we'll point you in the right direction for support. Okay? So thank you guys for being here, and I'll chat with you guys soon. Peace.